everyone, welcome again to another Crumpets Tea and Sewing video. I am T. If you are new to the channel, I do uh, encourage you to subscribe to the channel for future notifications. Um, also, if you are not following me on my Facebook or Instagram accounts, I would also encourage you to hop over to those social media sites and follow me on those social media sites because I do post on those sites daily. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some recent purchases that I've made on Etsy and um, I'm really excited about uh, the purchases that I've made. This is a first impression video, so I did do another one of these videos last week. If you have not had a chance to check that video out, make sure that you click on the link above and it'll take you over to that video. I had so much fun with that video that I decided to do another first impression video. In this video, like I said, I'm going to be sharing with you some of the things that I purchased. And also at the end of the video, I'm just going to tell you just briefly about this uh, make that I have made on the right side of me. It is the Butterick B6217 pattern. This is Gertie's pattern. So I'm going to get closer so you can see the details of the different variations and in, that's included in this particular pattern. So as you can see, this is basically a simple button up top and it comes with three different variations. There's a view where you can um, have like tulip sleeves and that's the view that Gertie is wearing. And it has like this really cute tie that goes around the bust area. Um, it's just a really cute top. I made this version, I made view A. And like I said, at the end of the video, I'll talk a little bit more about what, um, what I made. Okay, so let's get into the first impression video. I do want to keep this video really brief and short. I just want to share with you real quickly what I have made or what I have purchased. And then I will sh share with you what I have made as well. So just like with my first video, I did not open the packages. That's the whole purpose of the first impression video um, so that I can share with you my thoughts and my first impressions of the items that I have purchased off these sites. Um, sometimes it's a hit or miss with when you're purchasing off of eBay and also Etsy because you never know what you're going to get. You don't know what the sellers are going to be sending you or if um, the sellers are uh, people who are just trying to make a quick buck and don't really care about the, the objects that they're sending you. So, um, so that's the whole purpose of why I wanted to do a first impression video. Um, as a sewist, I want to make sure that I am purchasing my things from um, sellers who are going to be selling me items that are intact and well worth my money. Okay, so with that said, these are um, some vintage buttons that I purchased off of um, Etsy. And the seller is um, this and that crafts, gifts, and supplies. So she left her little card here. Description box below. I'll put all her information in there. Um, from what I can tell right now, I would recommend this seller. I ordered these buttons, I think three or four days ago. And, um, and I got them that quickly. Um, it came in a pack of 20. So there's 20 buttons here and they're vintage buttons. They're classified as vintage anyway. I haven't opened them yet. I hope they really are. Um, her Etsy site is martyjean.etsy.com. So I am going to go ahead and open up the buttons so that we can review the buttons. And I'll get a close up of the buttons as well. Okay. 
okay so they really do look um, like they are vintage buttons they're plastic um, but they really do look like they're vintage buttons and the reason why I purchased these particular buttons because I wanted them to go with the uh, Butterick B uh, 6217 this Gertie's pattern because most of her patterns tend to be uh, more on the vintage side and so uh, when I saw these buttons on Etsy I thought wow that those buttons should go just beautifully with that pattern so that's my plan is to use these buttons for that particular pattern so I'm going to go ahead and do a close-up real quickly of these buttons. okay so here is a close-up of the buttons as you can see um, they do have that vintage quality and look to them I really love the details um, of the little designs going around the button and like I said, that's one of the reasons why I purchased uh, these buttons. So I did count the buttons and it um, they are all there. And I'm really pleased with this seller. I'm pleased with um, the quality of the buttons and I'm really pleased with the fast shipping. Um, and just a little disclosure here, I am not in any way getting compensated for reviewing um, any of these shops on Etsy or eBay anytime I do a first impression video it is simply my review of um, the items that I am receiving in the mail uh, of the actual items themselves and then also a review of the shops that I am reviewing so I'm not getting compensated in any kind of way it's just my thoughts and my impressions of um, what I have received from these particular um, Etsy shop sellers. Okay, so this next um, first impression item is actually a pattern. I won't spoil it for you, but um, if you've seen my first first impression video, um, I'll just say the item is going to be quite similar to um, the main item in that video that I was showcasing so um, yeah I'm really excited about it so I can just tell right now um, from the way that they have wrapped the packaging I um, am really pleased about that um, when we get vintage patterns like we want to make sure that uh, the seller is taking good care of them and making sure that they're wrapping them the best way that they can because these patterns are old a lot of the vintage patterns that I receive in the mail anyway are somewhere between I would say 10 and 50 even 60 or 70 years old and so I want to make sure that uh, the seller is doing the best that they can to preserve um, whatever quality that the pattern the original pattern is in yes this is another Ann Adams pattern I love the first pattern so much that I went on Etsy and I purchased another Ann Adams pattern. Now this pattern I paid a little bit more than I paid um, for the first pattern. As I stated in the first video, I paid $5.39 for that pattern. For this pattern, I only paid, I think I paid $10. And that's kind of over my limit. I usually don't pay no more than six or seven dollars for a pattern. Um, but I really like this and this has been in my cart in my Etsy cart for about eight months and I figured because I liked the instructions and the easiness and the readability of the last pattern that I, I fell in love with um, the character and so I thought I better go ahead and get this pattern because if it's anything like the first one in terms of readability and directions and instructions then I'm going to like the pattern anyway um, 
also um, because it's like this it has this very loose fitting silhouette I really like that style um, this I believe is a 1960s pattern I want to say don't quote me on that yet I'll make sure that I make any corrections and put them either in the description box below or um, at the bottom of this video I'll make those corrections as soon as I find out I haven't had a chance to really look over the instructions and everything um unlike the first video i don't think i'm going to really go into much details in terms of looking over the instructions i will um include a couple of clips in the video at the end of the video um and just briefly go over the instructions and some of the the, the content that's here but i'm not going to go over it in too much detail because i don't want to film for too long um but this is a printed pattern and it is um ann adams 4685 um, size 16 um which is um the correct measurement for my bust but for my waist i will have to do some adjustments and it has 12 pieces so including the skirt and the shirt and so it's supposed to be a very easy um, make it's a pattern that is a brand new pattern and which is another reason why I went ahead and I went over my spending limit my uh, the limit that I have set for myself for buying uh, used vintage patterns and I went ahead and got it because it's a, a brand new pattern and it's never been cut I am really excited about this um, I think that it's going to be great. I mean, just looking at it, um, looking at the, you know, just briefly going over the instructions here and looking at the way in which it arrived in the mail, I am just very excited about um, making this. It's supposed to be, like I said, a very loose fitting silhouette and it looks like it's going to be um, a really nice one. And um, just briefly looking in the packet here, like on the envelope um, or on the front of the pattern, it shows just this one view where you have the skirt and then you also have like this really nice blouse that have these um, uh, flouncy sleeves. But inside the um, pattern guidelines, it actually shows another view where you can actually make um, that uh, flouncy shirt with the short sleeve. You can actually make it into a long sleeve as well. You can do a long sleeve option. So I really like that it has that. Um, I have not, you know, reviewed the entire contents of it. I will make sure that I put all of my comments and thoughts in the description box below so that you know my full review of it. I just want to make sure that I keep this video relatively short for you. And um, if you have any questions or comments about any of the Ann Adams patterns that I have been collecting, or if you have any questions about vintage patterns, how to buy them, what to look for when you're purchasing them online. Um, I've been doing this for about a year and a half, two years now. And so I know what to look for, which sellers to uh, go to and which sellers to avoid on eBay and Etsy. And so if you have any questions in regards to how to buy them, what to look for, make sure you leave your comments below and I'll make sure that I respond. Okay, so before I forget real quickly, I just want to share with you this project that I've been uh, working on throughout the month of August. It is the Butter It B. 6217 as i mentioned before it's gertie's pattern and i made this 
Originally, it was going to be my mock-up because I purchased this fabric from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago and it was for $2 a yard and I got two and a half yards of it. And so, uh, ideally, this was going to be my uh, mock-up, but I fell in love with it. Like, as I was going throughout the project, everything was fitting so perfectly. The, um, the sleeves, were fitting just perfectly. I didn't have to do any adjustments to the sleeves, um, the waist, the bust, everything was just fitting so perfectly. I cut out the tissue paper to my side. I redraft my pattern pieces um, and do some grading. I didn't have to do any of that with this particular pattern. And I think the reason why I didn't have to do that is because this shirt is made to fit um, somewhat loosely on the side so it's semi fitted on the side um, and uh, fit it up at the top on the bus but on um, down going down the sides it's very semi fitted and so I didn't really have to do a whole lot of adjustments with that and then with the arms because you have like this tulip um, uh, arm thing going on here sleeve going on here um, you have a lot of space here where it just opens up. And so you don't really have to do a whole lot of adjustments there if um, you're a little bit, you know, abnormally big around the biceps like myself. Um, and so I was very pleased about that. The only thing I don't like about um, this is that the garment calls for interfacing and the interfacing goes, um, around the neck and all the way around the back um, and down the front and so down the front because you know you need to put those buttons on and the only interfacing I had on hand at the time was a medium weight interfacing and my Joann's is about 40 minutes away and so it's just not worth me going all the way out there just to get interfacing and so um, so that's what I did. I used my medium weight interfacing and I feel like it's a little bit too heavy for this project, but that's the only thing that I don't like. And that's something that is, um, easily that it, it could be changed. Um, and so it has nothing to do with the pattern, but, um, I think I will do a pattern review on this. I'm not quite for certain yet. There are a lot of other patterns that I'm going to be doing this month and next month that I'm considering doing pattern reviews for. And so I have to kind of pick and choose which ones I'm going to do pattern reviews for. Um, but if that's something that you're interested in, make a comment below and let me know if you want me to do a pattern review on this. Um, but yeah, I really love this uh, particular um, pattern. And uh, like I said, it has these really nice ties on the side. I didn't put the buttons on yet because obviously, you know, I just got the buttons in the mail and I ordered specific buttons for this. Like after I realized that I liked this mock-up so much, I decided to keep it and I didn't even use the fabric that I was originally going to use for this project. And so I'm just saving that for another project, a, a different buttering project. But um, I love this so much that I was just like, okay, I can keep this as a regular garment and I can just move on to the next um, project. If you are interested in seeing a pattern review on that, let me know and I can do a pattern review on it. And yeah, so that's, that's this particular uh, project and I will be doing uh, more throughout the rest of the month. I will make sure that I post this in my August Makes video and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. And then I have some other upcoming projects that I'm doing for August and some things that I have done for August that will be in my August Makes video as well. So make sure you uh, stay tuned for that. I'm so grateful that you guys have tuned into the channel. Don't forget if you are new to the channel and you have not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can get future notifications and also if you have not checked me out on Facebook and Instagram if you're not following me on those social media sites and you want to see more of me throughout the week make sure you uh, go over to Facebook 
and then you can check me out over there and follow me because I post daily pictures and images of what I'm doing and, um, and what you know sewing projects I'm currently working on over on those social media sites. Till next time, stay creative.